Hello everyone internet and thanks for tuning in. This is Ryu Kiva of Ryu Kiva Toku with another Top unboxing. Today I am doing, starting the Tokuso Sentai Decoranger SH Figure Arts series. I'm doing this in reverse order, so starting with number five, Deca Pink. Bought this for about the 6,000 yen mark U, so these, you know, anything that's not red, it's hard to get hold of. So, Deca Pink, so again, quite one of the more expensive ones. Uh, so let's have a look at the book. So we've got like a massive, you know, it's kind of that old-fashioned style because I believe it was done in 2013, made in China. Uh, we've got a special police deco ranger, deco ranger logo, Toei seal approval, to machination, and a red Bandai logo, as well as the collector shop logo there. Again, it's an old-fashioned big window, deco pink with SH Figure Arts blurb. SH Figure Arts is a new standard figure series that incorporates the Bandai action figure arts under the theme pursuing character expression through humanoid action. Still don't know what that means. Window spills onto the side with, again, all the same English there. You've got a standard pose there. You've got the numbers and that on the bottom. Uh, again, it spills over to the top. We've got the SPD logo there. Uh, simple style and heroic action, Deca Pink, movable, option parts and moulding. Everything else is in Japanese. Shows you the, the option parts, actually. You've got the license closed. Um, not too sure what version of the license that is. Gun, long saber, short saber. On with the unboxing itself. Uh, no seals on it, got it used. Let's have a look for the inlay. All right, so the inlay, what do we have? So we've got, so just looking at the box, we've got some standard poses there, standard decorator poses there. One, two, three, four, five on one hand, one, two, three, four, five, six hands on the other. Uh, shows you how to pop them on and off, shows you how to clip the license and its uh, holder, sabre and its holder. Um, apparently, th I don't think this one comes with handcuffs, but let's have a look at the figure itself. I don't like these old fashioned one, old fashioned plastic in cases where it goes right around the edges, right down to the bottom. I mean, you've got to be careful in popping it off. Right, so yeah, she does come with some handcuffs and she's got like three sets of pockets, lots of hands. Uh, she's got hands with, I don't know what those are. I've literally just gone straight for this hand. I can't remember what that's supposed to be. I will use that hand just for funsies. I'm going to need to grab a claspy hand for the right hand then. Uh, that would be this one. So the hands have quite a hard texture to them. I'm gonna go straight for the figure right now. So she, she barely has anything feminine about her apart from the fact that she's dinky and small. Uh, the paint job on the helmet, I don't know, I guess I expected it to be a little bit more detailed than what it actually is. And maybe due to its age, it just doesn't look that shiny, if I'm genuinely honest. I guess I was expecting it to be shinier being SPD. But the matte finish on the rest of the body does look fine. I mean, she's a very dinky little figure. She's, I mean, it literally feels like one of the 90s toys where it's just got SPD, like that on the belt. Uh, I mean, the rest of the figure looks standard. I mean, it looks like the Showa Rider era figures. I guess that's kind of typical for that early 2010s SH figure art. I mean, the balancing... Hmm. A lot to be desired just because it's so dinky and small and thin. But again, it'll be quite interesting to see how the rest of the figure art... SEO Deco Ranger figure arts pan out this week. We've got some, I mean, ironically, the detailing on the arm for the SPD logo is a little better than what it is on the helmet. You've got the badge on the chest, the number five, which, again, considering you've got the torso, you know, they would have had a job trying to do that. And again, the rest of it's pretty standard, including on the back. It's just like a very matte finish and then a slightly metallic finish on the helmet, which kind of sets it to diff two different shades of pink. So, if I can kind of get this standing uh, decently, right? I mean, bearing in mind I've got the Lightning Collection Shadow Ranger, uh, I know it's a lot bigger than this Deca Pink. So, Shadow Ranger is going to absolutely dwarf Deca Pink. Looking at the long saber, I mean, I love the pink detailing, and it's quite long. 
Um, the, you know, one version of the gun. Uh, I'd say the detailing is standard. Like, it could have been a little better, but again, these are 2013, so they kind of did their best to begin with. I mean, the short saber, I don't really understand why they did that. I'm going to keep that in there. Yes, I mean, the thing is, yeah, I can. I will use the SPD license. I won't bother with the pockets. Actually, I will. He says he won't bother. But then he goes on and does it, so... I don't see... All right, I don't see how that... All right, these clip onto the back. This clips onto the back for some reason. I'm not entirely sure what that's supposed to be. I don't really see why the... I don't really see why the decorators have back pockets. Not only that, but it's very difficult to get in on, the, on this back pocket here. That just about went in, but I don't see why they've got that, why she's got that on the back. I believe it's to hold the license. But then you've got two side pockets. Um, right. Um, so yeah, one for each side, but I'll do one really quickly. So this is the long one, which has a little bit of a black paint job on it. Uh, I mean, that actually does hold quite steadily, actually. Like, yeah, that is actually pretty decent on there. Well, right. So I'm going to finish off by trying to pop the hands off. Right, those are really dinky ball joints as well. Right, there we go. But that was easy off, to be fair. That is easy on here. Well, right, now I'm doing one with this really weird. I don't know if these are supposed to be bullets or what. I'm not entirely sure why she's got this hand. I don't know if this is like a reference to an episode or what. I mean, on the box, it's got her in a really complex pose, which I might actually try doing just to finish off. Right, she holds it like that. I mean, after so many years, this clasp hand is really tight. Maybe this might possibly be because it's for the sword as opposed to the gun that I'm trying to shove into her hand. Right, so just to end on a corny pose. That's about it. I mean, again, she's very dinky, her balancing... Right, I mean, I think considering it's quite a dinky figure, it's not the worst balancing, but it's just because, again, 2013, this is how dinky they were. That was my unboxing of Decker Pink. See you next time. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please check out my website at ryukivotoku.weebly.com as well as my other social media for more content and my relevant pages for business contributions and inquiries. Don't forget to like, follow and subscribe. See you next time.